My name is Joseph Sacharin, and I'm an assistant professor of uh, surgery at the Medical University of South Carolina and director of global health and disaster preparedness uh, for the Department of Surgery. I'm uh, currently the outgoing chair of uh, RAS and uh, joining now the Young Fellows Association as a new initiate. I got involved in the American College of Surgeons and specifically the Resident and Associate Society during my intern year. I was randomly walking by a door one day and I saw this announcement for residents. And I figured, you know, let me go check it out. And at that point I went in there and I was really uh, captivated by the vibrant, engaged group of young individuals that were meeting and discussing these innovative ideas in order to help change the future of medicine and surgery. Well, as a young faculty member, I've been fortunate enough to be involved with the Resident and Associate Society over the past 10 years. And the professional development that was really provided by all the different opportunities uh, that comes with being involved with the American College of Surgeons is actually tremendous. Anywhere from having leadership roles like being on one of the advisory councils to perhaps publishing an article in the bulletin or working in different subcommittees that will really allow you to develop your own skills while at the same time changing how we practice medicine. Those that are thinking about getting involved in RAS, I always tell them that it's a very unique organization in that the American College of Surgeons is the only organization I'm aware of that really is considered the house of surgery, meaning we're inclusive of all specialties. So whether you're a general surgeon or a neurosurgeon or a otolaryngologist, we want everyone from all specialties to come and join this organization and really be part of that change uh, that's beginning to happen and has been happening over the past hundred years. And we need these young people because we want to secure the future for the next hundred years. Being the chair of RAS uh, was uh, really a highlight in my young career. I think it was a highlight because it really gave me a better understanding to how the American College of Surgeons functions. It provided different leadership opportunities within multiple levels of the organization, and it allowed me to really be able to bring some of the incredible things that the American College of Surgeons are doing back to our young people. And that's a very unique role, and I'm very fortunate to have it, and I, I learned a tremendous amount. And I'm hoping that as I continue being involved with the American College of Surgeons and now the Young Fellows Association, that my professional development will continue to grow over the years, and I'll be able to uh, you know, be a contributing member. The reason I've decided to continue to be involved in the YFA of the American College of Surgeons is because I believe in the core mission, in the values, in what we're trying to do to provide high quality care to surgical patients, both here and around the world, and to really upholding that mission of safeguarding optimal and an ethical practice environment. There's very few organizations that really hold those high standards, and the American College of Surgeons is one of them. And I just want to be a part of that process, I think, together, um, by bringing all of our different talents, that's the way to really make a difference for the future. I think it's important for young surgeons to be involved in the American College of Surgeons because we need to play an active role in what's happening in our society with respect to medicine. Standing by the sidelines is not going to help you know, change what's coming in the future. And so by taking an active role within an organization like the American College of Surgeons, we can really have an impact whether it comes to advocacy or putting together different educational programs or working with our uh, dropsy committee to really create quality initiatives for both our trainees and our practicing surgeons. There's so many different programs that are going on and there's really something for everyone and something for every specialty. This is the only organization that uh, behaves in this manner and has really changed the practice of medicine. So that would be why I think is the most compelling reason to be involved in the American College of Surgeons.